We take a few minutes every Sunday to discuss trends that seem to be predicted in the Bible. We're considered futurists. Now, that's a good thing. It means we interpret the unfulfilled prophetic portions of the book of Daniel, the book of the Revelation, and other unfulfilled prophecies as future events that will occur in a literal, physical, apocalyptic, and global context. Biometrics, artificial intelligence, cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, increased surveillance, global government, uh, the exponential growth of human knowledge, all of these are areas we see corroborating the unfulfilled prophecies of the Bible. The mark of the beast is presented in the Revelation as a means by which the governments of the future will control every aspect of their citizens' lives. Uh, With this biometric mark, you'll be able to participate in a cashless, contactless society. Without the mark, you'll be severely restricted or entirely cut off from goods and services. It was easy to dismiss the idea we would ever acquiesce to this kind of totalitarian global government. Certainly, this wouldn't ever get off the ground. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all that, and it's uh, introduced more of a willingness or an acquiescence, you might say, to let government have a lot of information. Civil rights have been suspended during this time, and personal privacy has been surrendered. The so-called new normal does attempt to control us to a certain degree. Now, one example is the push for vaccine passports. I was sent an article titled, Danes Present Digital Coronavirus Passport for Travel Abroad. Here are some excerpts. The Danish government on Friday presented its digital coronavirus passport enabling people to travel abroad or in Denmark, go to the hairdresser, a tattoo parlor, dine inside a restaurant, or wherever else is needed. I always find it fascinating the things people choose to pick out as as essential services, right? Right? Hairdos, I understand. Tattoos, maybe it's a big tattoo culture. And they restaurants are way down on the list. But anyway, the idea is it's a passport, a vaccine passport so you can travel. But in Denmark, you need it for other things as well. The Corona passport we present today can be used from July 1 when you can travel within the EU, said Finance Minister Nikolai Vaman. During a press conference outside the Copenhagen airport, Health Minister Magnus Hunke held up his phone to show the app, which only features a QR code and a green bar if the person has been vaccinated twice or recently tested negative. People will either have the code scanned or will flash it before entering an airport, a harbor, a train station, a hairdresser, or an eatery. It is a solution that is very easy, said Waman, uh, adding that if it flashes red, it will not say why. So if you're red listed, uh, you won't be able to eat. They just won't say what horrible things are happening to you. The European Commission told EU member states to start issuing COVID passports before July 1st. One of President Biden's executive orders aimed at curbing the pandemic asked government agencies to access the feasibility of linking coronavirus vaccine certificates with other vaccination documents and producing digital versions. An article in the LA Times was titled, California encourages venues to require vaccine passports, just don't call them that. The reporter writes, this month the state announced reopening rules for indoor live events that give businesses an incentive to demand vaccination proof from ticket holders. Businesses can hold larger events when they verify either of the safeguards. It is a form of passport, said Dr. John Schwartzberg, a UC Berkeley infectious disease expert. Now listen, you might be of the opinion that vaccine passports are absolutely necessary, or you might be of the opinion that they are the precursor to totalitarian global government and you're vowing to never do that. We're not here to discuss that. Uh, Everybody has an opinion on that, and, and that's great. This is America. You have your opinion. I have my opinion. I try not to give my opinion on that. Uh, I think sometimes you can tell because I'm sarcastic, but uh, I'm not here to tell you how to believe about COVID-19. I'm here to tell you that COVID-19 has accelerated almost every end times prophecy area when it comes to biometrics and uh, surveillance and all of this. It's like, hey, this is possibly the way this is going to sneak into society. Now, it could all stop tomorrow. We've seen 
things like that before where a prophetic trend seemed right on the verge of breaking through, and then all of a sudden it was completely different. But for right now, you look at this and you think, wow, I can see how the whole world could be controlled by a mark of some kind. And that, gosh, you know who knew that? John the Apostle on the island of Patmos more than 2,000 years ago. We believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent. That means it could happen at any moment and nothing needs to happen before it happens and it will certainly happen before the great tribulation. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.